Hello and welcome back to another video. Have you guys seen this new Windows 11 feature? It's called Copilot and AI powered assistant right off your desktop. If you don't see this feature just yet, try updating to the latest Windows 11 available update. Unfortunately, this is only available on Windows 11. So if you're running Windows 10 and if you're running Windows 7, hopefully you're not, you will not be able to access Copilot. So let's dig in and see how it looks. When you update to the latest Windows 11 update, you will notice it right here on your taskbar. You can open it by clicking it. Another way of opening it is by clicking the Windows and C button on your keyboard and it will open right on your right hand side. Unfortunately, I don't see an option to move this to the left hand side, for example, or to a different location. This seems to be the only place where it opens. And right off the bat, we can see here, the logo PRE just stands for preview. So this is the preview mode, Copilot with Bing chat, and then choose a conversation style. More creative starts an original and imaginative chat, more balance starts an informative and friendly chat, and more precise starts a concise and straightforward chat. So by default, and we'll keep it as, as default, more balanced is selected. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see different things here, uh, I suggest, uh, some some things Copilot can help you do. You'll probably see a different suggestion and just the terms and so forth and then a signing button to ask more questions and have longer conversations. So that probably means that if you do not sign in, there is a limit of how long the conversation uh, is or how many questions you can ask. I have not found anything on what that limit is but let's go ahead and also look here at the text box. You can type, you can use your mic, and what's really neat is that you can upload or use an image. So let's start off by first asking, what can you do? And what I did notice is that the response is a lot slower than ChatGPT. I mean, a lot, a lot slower than ChatGPT. But since this is still in preview mode, I'm sure they will boost its response time by time. And once it starts generating a response, it's actually fairly quick, which is nice. And we can see here a number at the bottom, one out of 10. Hmm, look at that. First question and it has already failed. Let's try a different topic, sorry about that. What else is on your mind? So it seemed to fill that one, but since it did fail, let's, let's at least see what other options we have here. If you hover over that response, you can have it read out loud, you can copy it, there's a dislike and a like button. And then usually after every response, it does provide some suggestions. So let's forget about what can you do because we can learn that by going on the website. I'm curious about the response that I will receive for the next question. So let's ask, are you better than, <laughs> look at that, it already grays out or already tells you, shows you what you might type or what maybe the general uh, questions that is asked when you start off that question is if you click the tab button on your keyboard, it will auto fill that and then it usually keep continue. So let's just keep it as that, put a question mark and see what the response is. Again, responding is not as fast as chat GPT and it does tell us here searching for chat GPT and then it starts generating a question or the answers for you. So let's see if it fails us once again, or if it will completely answer our question here. It already tells us here at the top, I don't like to compare myself to other chatbots, but I think I have some advantages over ChatGPT. For example, I can use predefined tools to search the web, create graphic art, and perform calculations. I believe ChatGPT can definitely perform some calculations. Um, the, the searching the web, sure, definitely. Uh, ChatGPT, again, I know that they do have ChatGPT 4, but 3.5, there is a limit of how much data it has. So I think it's up to 2022 as of today in 2023. And creating graphic art is definitely a nice thing that Ch uh, Copilot has. But it did answer my question. There was no errors there. Again, this is the preview mode. So we're not expecting the greatest and latest, but I'm expecting that as time goes, they will keep updating and make this faster and more reliable. 
Again, right after it tells us a number here, two out of 10. Now I understand what two out of 10 and one out of 10 means. So one out of 10 is the number of answers that it provides. When you are not signed in, there's a limit of 10 responses. So one out of 10, two out of 10 means that this is the second response. So let's try the next feature, which is adding an image. I have two images here on my desktop. I'll open them up so you guys can see it a little bit closer or better. The first is a pigeon, the second some flowers, and there's a bee on that flower. Let's close this up and then let's click on add an image. It gives us an option to paste uh, an image or link and then upload from this device. If we click upload from this device, it opens up a window where we can select where the image is. Let's start off with a pigeon. And let's ask, what is this? And it's analyzing the image. Uh, it tells us that privacy blur hides faces from Bing chat. So I'm assuming what that means is that if you're uploading the image with a face, it does blur it out for privacy concerns or reasons. And now it's generating an answer. I can do so many things to help you with your web browsing experience. For example, I can, what is going on? Why does it feel like I received a response to my first question? Which I asked right here, what can you do? It seems like it's answering it right now. Hmm. Anyways, let's try the second picture. Another way you can put pictures here is if you just drag it and drop it. And this time will be a little bit more specific. What kind of flowers are these? It's analyzing the image. We'll give it a few seconds and see if we're able to receive a proper response to our question and image. It is searching for purple aster flowers. Seems like it may provide something and it did provide something. These flowers look like purple aster, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, flowers which are the type of daisy like flowers that bloom and blah, 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 blah. And there's an ad. So you just can't have anything nice. There's an ad there, but we did see an image that it was it, it outputted here at the bottom. And those look like the same flowers. Not so much the second one, but I guess a different type of flower that looks like that. And it outputted this type of ad because it wants you to purchase if you want to purchase basically flowers like that, you can buy them. So I guess it's not so bad, although this one is definitely an ad. It tells us right there that it's an ad. But the bottom here are some options for those type of flowers. So that's pretty neat. And then again, it gives us more questions or suggestions that we can ask. From doing some research, apparently you can do different things like asking it to do or could perform system changes. For example, taking a screenshot and I will give that a try and see if it works. Take a screenshot. I'm not sure what other limitations are there when you are not signed in versus when you are signed in. Uh, but it seems to be that the only uh, based on, okay, now it's searching for how to take a screenshot on Windows 11. So it seems like it's not going to actually take a screenshot. But based on what I saw online, it is supposed to make certain changes or um, take actions such as, you know, if you ask it to take a screenshot, it will take a screenshot for you. In this case, it's actually answering my question on how to take a screenshot. We do have the ability to stop responding, so we don't have to receive a full response. And it looks like we have five out of 10. The last point or topic I want to discuss on Copilot is the fact that it can also create an image or a picture for you. Unfortunately, there's a limitation again, if you are not signed in, you will not be able to see that image, but I can at least show you guys how that would possibly look. So let's say, make me a picture of a cat riding a horse. And we'll wait for it once again. It is still on preview mode. 
So it's a lot slower than what you would expect in 2023. But then again, there's a lot that goes into it. Here it is. So it tells us I'll try to create that. But then it tells me to please sign in to create images. And the only way to sign in, of course, is if we were to start from the very top or perhaps not even start from the very top, but start a new chat. Um, unless you're already signed in uh, through Microsoft, I believe, then you shouldn't have to worry about this. But you can only... They can only generate images for users that are signed in with their personal account. So if you are not signed in, or if you don't have an account, you can create one or visit Bing Image Creator to join. I believe, hmm, let's click this and see what exactly this means. Join and create Image Creator. So there's a website, apparently you can just pretty much use but does it require you to sign in here? So let's try the same thing we asked if we scroll up. Make me a picture of a cat riding a horse. Join and create, of course, will ask me to join or sign in to my Microsoft account. And then it will generate that image for me. So that's the other limitation, of course. Um, so. Before I wrap it up, uh, I want you to see here at the bottom, there's a button that you can click and it starts a new topic. If we remember, there's six out of 10. So we used up six responses. If we do a new topic and let's just say test. From what I've noticed is that when you start a new topic and I may be wrong, it does start again. Number one out of 10. So although there is a limitation, you can ask as many questions as you want. Where it becomes an issue is when you want back-to-back -back feedback on something that is being outputted. So if you're receiving a response and you're saying, hey, make it shorter, and then it provides you a short version and you're like, hey, can you change this to this? If you're asking back-to-back -back questions for a response then you are limited to 10 and unfortunately you would have to start a new topic to have your 10 responses again if we look at the top here the refresh what it does is it actually refreshes the whole application opens it again we can see the chat history which in this case because we refreshed the the application there is no chat history so we're back to like a fresh um chat basically or a topic uh it tells us here that it's the the number of characters not words but characters and space is a character as well the limit is 2000 if we look at the top here again more options it's the refresh right terms of use privacy agreement send feedback learn more and settings and their settings there really isn't much except for sharing Microsoft Edge content with Bing Chat, which for me by default was off. I'm not sure if because of certain settings that I have on my computer that are off in terms of sharing, you know, and so forth. But I would check that if you want to keep it off. And that pretty much wraps it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And see you guys on the next one.